What's up, guys? It's LT, your teeter move trainer. We're here with the Dex 2. Going to go over some nice stretches, some nice inversions, some stretches to do from your inversions. Nice idea to maybe watch this, get an idea of some of the maneuvers. You can pull off while you're on this thing safely, gently, carefully, stretching out the body, decompressing the spine, letting everything get nice and loose, hang it out, and then maybe try it on your own. Maybe you're following along down the road, but maybe first, Take a look at the video. Check out what we can accomplish on here. You're probably gonna wanna hold some of these maybe longer than I'm doing. You don't need to watch me just hanging in silence for a minute or two, although we can do that if you want sometime. So from here, reach down, grab those handles, tighten up, roll all the way down. Hang loose here, decompress the spine, feel that blood flow coming down. Maybe just hang here. Maybe you take a full minute to just decompress, relax, maybe circle out that neck. That always feels good. You got both your legs bent there, holding you safely in place. If it ever becomes too much for you or the blood is just flowing too heavily to that head, reach up, grab your handles, flatten out recalibrate and then maybe take it back down or if you're ready to come up, come up. You can always reach for this back handlebar here. Again, whatever your body needs today, it's probably different each and every day of the week. You can reach one arm out and pull on one side, other side, that feels good. I like that. Reach for it again with both arms, pull it up, bend the elbows in and out. Letting that blood flow, full decompression, that back gets so tight, all the built up tension in there from whatever you've got going on, working out, working in the yard, washing the car, doing whatever, carrying the groceries, walking the dog, it all builds up in the back. Don't forget about these traction handles here. Reach up, press into them, lightly or firmly, just like we did with the bar. I like to take these nice little pulses. That feels very nice, keeping that neck relaxed. You can take a firm grip. You can release, grip, release, grip. I'm feeling like a nice firm press into that today. But again, those pulses are always a nice gentle way to get things going and moving back in the right direction. Once you've had enough of that, re-release. You can bring it up. That top of the head is still down towards the mat. Maybe take it side to side gently. Carefully rock the baby side to side. Maybe take it front to back. Moving into one final torso rotation, reach out to the right side with your left hand. Grip that side bar, pulling up to the right hand side, lengthening out those obliques. Nice torso rotation. Take it as far up as you want. Taking whatever grip over there feels right for you. And then take it over to the opposite side. So reach over with your right hand, twist up, rotate, torso. Oh yeah, that feels nice on the obliques. I've been working those and this is just what I needed. Yeah, that's a nice stretch there. Take as much as you need on either side. Maybe go back and forth each side a couple times here. Change it up. Once you've had enough of that, hang it back down. And then carefully, nice and easy, grab your handlebars and gracefully press yourself back up to that bar. Bring the other foot down. We're here, carefully come off. Give yourself a minute, maybe even before you come off. I came off a little earlier, whoa. I'm pretty lightheaded, which is 
quite common or expected really when you're getting off of this. You're gonna get lightheaded. You're gonna feel it. Just wait until you feel good. Nice, goes away for a little bit. It's cool, it's a good feeling. I kinda like it. Actually, maybe we'll come down here, stretch out the abs like an upward dog position. You can always come down to your knees, stretch out those abs, lengthening the spine, looking up at the ceiling. Big stretch, get both sides of the body here, maybe continuing to circle out that neck, then maybe press it up and press it down. Get more of those hamstrings, continuing to stretch out that spine. Maybe while you're down here, you wanna stretch out the calves, that's cool. And you can stretch out everything with this machine. I love in this machine, work out, stretch, I might not go back to the gym if it wasn't for the social aspect. This is the only place I see anybody these days. So I can't give up the gym quite yet. But I do train people and I bring them over to my place and that's just all that teeter equipment. They're like, where do I get this? But then they don't buy one because they just keep coming training with me. I gotta make them buy. Maybe I'll sell them. They want that power 10 too. From here, maybe decompress one more time, hanging ragdoll, reach for opposite elbows. Continuing circling out that neck, same thing, front to back, side to side. Hands come to the lower spine, rise up vertebrae by vertebrae. Maybe take three big circle sweeps, really reaching with intention, lengthening with each and every circle sweep. Finishing with one last big circle sweep, reaching with intention, hands, heart, center. It's been a real absolute pleasure to be with you guys yet again. It's LT, your teeter move trainer. This is the Dex 2. Enjoy. Namaste.